Schools across the country are reopening their doors, but a nationwide teacher shortage has left many school districts scrambling to find alternative solutions. Get this, 600,000 educators have resigned since 2020, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Joining me now is Aubrielle Elzinga Jarman. She's a former first grade teacher who resigned from her position. Aubrielle, thank you for joining us here on ABC News Live. Thank you for having me. And let me say, shout out to teachers. Um, I love teachers. I'm a big fan of teachers. Uh, and to hear that you left your position um, after such short time, so disheartening. What prompted your departure? And was it an easy decision? It was not an easy decision. Um, I loved teaching. I love kids. And so it was a really hard for decision for me to make. Um, but COVID made teaching a lot harder. And it was really hard to have a work-life balance with teaching. And you felt you weren't appreciated. In what ways? Um, I felt like I was given a lot of expectations, but not enough time to do them. And um, I felt like we just, teachers aren't appreciated as much as they should be. And what do you think needs to be done to shift the decline in educators? Well, um, I think appreciating teachers more, giving them more resources, and paying them more. And tell me again exactly what, where you are and what challenges you were facing. So I am in Colorado, and uh, some of the challenges that we were facing were a sub shortage. And so um, if we wanted to take any days off, it was really hard. Um, and if we did, uh, sometimes there wasn't a sub to take our day. And so we would have to split the students up amongst other teachers. So we would have about 39 kids in a, a young class. Um, so having 39 first graders is a lot. And I'm sure you have a number of friends, colleagues who are still educators. What stories are you hearing? And are you hearing them in Colorado? Are you also hearing them in other states? Yes, I'm hearing them from both. Uh, I went to school in Utah, so I'm hearing a lot of um, similar problems a teacher are having there, um, where they just want more support, um, more resources for the kids. So I'm definitely hearing it from other places across the country. All right, Abriel Elzinga Jarman, we're gonna leave it there. I really appreciate your time, and thank you for coming to speak with us here on ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.